Hey guys, Ian from Q-Tips here. And you've got to love the internet and GIS in general and Q QGIS. So if if one thing I've learned uh, over the years working in GIS and QGIS is there's always more than one way um, to solve a problem. And Jorgos uh, sent me a message on the, uh, the YouTube comment section and asked if it wasn't easier if I used the import tools from the processing menu to get the the geotag data from my photos and it is so let's uh, let's show you how how we can do that so you learn something new every day so that's cool too okay so i've got my folder let's just go to it quickly it's on my desktop here okay so there's my folder with my images and then if you've got the uh, location data turned on for your photos, when you take a photo, you should get a little geotag in there, GPS, latitude, and longitude, and altitude. Okay, so I'm going to use the same photos that I used uh, in that previous example where I was trying to help a client out, uh, how to understand an issue that I was having. So anyway, let's let's use this, uh, this example from Jorgos, and let's import those uh, photo geotags using this tool. So I've already typed it in down here, but in your search menu, you can just type in import photo. And then if you open up that algorithm, this pops up. So we just need to select the folder we're coming from. And it's on my desktop, it's images. So I can say select. So we can create a, a geo, uh, a shape file or a layer in a geo package, but we're just going to create a temporary layer. So let's just run this. And then what's going to happen with the invalid ones? You can create a table, but let's just leave the defaults and let's run that. Okay, and I do get a message for a couple of the photographs. It says there is no meta tag or metadata found for those ones. So that's fine. We can just ignore that because it did find the ones I needed. And let's just drag this to the top, change the color uh, to something we can see. Something nice and big. Actually, there's I think there's default ones. We just go to marker. Let's choose this diamond here. Apply. Okay. And there they are up there, which is exactly uh, the ones that were imported in my previous um, video when I actually painstakingly imported them into a Excel spreadsheet, then exported them to a CSV. And here they are right here. So, so if we have a look at the attribute table, open up the attribute table. And it's okay, so it's pulled through. We can the attribute table looks like that, but then if you look at the form view, it actually pulls them through as well and references them quite nicely. So you can see exactly which photos are which. So for instance, let's let's select this one down here and have a look at it. See which one it is. That's that one. Make this a little bit smaller. See which one that one is. That's that one. And then this one is that one there. But anyway, that's how you can do it. Um, thanks, Jorgos. I think that's very useful. I'm probably going to use that quite a lot in the future, and it's probably going to save me quite a bit of time. So thanks for that. Yes.